Hello and welcome to NBC News. You are watching this bulletin with me, Ratnakar. The news in detail. NMC has opened a swab collection center at COVID-19 patient at Emily Hostel's wing number 3. The center was started from Tuesday onwards. At present, COVID care center is functioning at Emily Hostel, wherein 108 patients are at present undergoing treatment. The swab collection center would function from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Dr. Sanjay Chilkar, Medical Health Officer, Dr. Vijay Joshi, Additional Medical Health Officer, Dr. Shubham Munghate and Dr. Pankaj Lodhi visit the swab collection center and saw the arrangement in place. Mayor Dayashankar Tiwari and Municipal Commissioner Radha Krishnan B were instrumental in implementing the initiative. Heavy rains last city on Tuesday evening, plunging the day temperature drastically and trunching life out of gear. Lightning and high-velocity winds accompanied the rain. The hailstorm was also recorded in Butibori with heavy rains. City recorded 3.9 mm rainfall within a span of two hours. Though heavy rain halted city in the evening, the maximum day temperature was 40.2 degrees Celsius with 96% relatively humidity, which was the highest in Vidarbha on Tuesday. Indian Meteorological Department has predicted more such weather activities in coming days due to cyclonic circulation. However, the maximum temperature will settle between 42 to 44 degrees Celsius after May 21st. On Tuesday, city experienced the cloudy weather from the morning. The thunderstorm and heavy rain occurred after 4 p.m. till 6.30 p.m. and also in its aftermath. It was a tough affair for commuters to drive their vehicles. With quite a good number of people becoming corona-free and Napa district, for the last 15 days, the recovery rate has reached 93%. On Tuesday, 4,037 persons were recovered, taking the cumulative recovery to 4,32,870. Good recovery led to rise the recovery rate to 93%. This has resulted into reduction in number of active cases. On Tuesday, the active cases have come down to 23,965. On Tuesday, 1,189 new positive cases in Nagpur district were recorded. On Monday, the number had gone below 1,000. Of the 1,189 new cases, 12 are not the resident of Nagpur district. Nagpur rural registered 586 new cases, while 591 tested positive for the various in a city. With these, the cumulative cases reach 4,65,403. Of these, 1,453 are not the resident of Nagpur district. The COVID-19 deaths in the district have surged by 11 as 41 became victims to the virus. Of the 41 persons who died, 12 were not Nagpur residents. The Asil police arrested two persons for stealing the belongings of persons who had died from the novel coronavirus of the COVID-19 facility at Mayo Hospital. The accused are employees of Speak and Span company. The police have recovered stolen valuables including gold ornaments and mobile phone from their position. The accused have been identified as Ganesh Uttam Dekate, a resident of plot number 40, Vajra layout, Parvati Nagar Kalamna and Chhatrapal Kishore Sonkusre, a resident of Old Mangalwari, Lakarganj. According to police, the Speak and Span company has given a contract to pack the dead bodies of COVID-19 patients. Both Ganesh and Chhatrapal have been appointed by the company at a Mayo Hospital. The duo used to steal jewellery, mobiles and cash from the dead bodies. A few days ago, the father of Anjali, Giri Prasad Tiwari, passed away while undergoing COVID-19 treatment at Mayo Hospital. They have stolen Girja Prasad's mobile phone besides other articles. For the first time, Medical Health Department of Nakul Municipal Corporation undertook a shop-to-shop -shop testing of traders and their employees given the daily footfall of hundreds of persons in wholesale market area of Itwari. The drive started off in Sotanjipura Zone No. 7 and shop on Nehru Streets to Muskasa Square where covered under it and team visited the shops and collected the swab. Vijay Humne, Assistant Commissioner and Dr. Menakshi Mane, Zonal Medical Officer after discussion work out the strategy as the area is jammed during the four hours of trading session due to current restrictions. The drive would be further continued in other streets in the wholesale market as the traders and people working in shops are vulnerable. Daily hundreds of people throng the market for right purpose and one may not know someone among them might be asymptomatic and may invariably end up transmitting the virus and that in turn could act as a super spreader. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnakar says goodbye. Please stay 
वेरी गुड केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ एंड फैमिली कीप वॉचिंग एन बी सी न्यूज सच दिखाए बिना छुपाए